Hi, so in this video, I will look at the gamma function, and I will prove that take the parameter alpha is greater than 1, then the gamma function of alpha equals alpha minus 1 times the uh, gamma function of alpha minus 1, and therefore this could be further expanded to a factorial. Uh, so I will just solve the proof. Uh, a bit about the gamma distribution. The gamma distribution is useful for processes for which the waiting times between events are relevant. It can be also thought of as a waiting time between plus one distributed events. And it's also used to model random variables that are restricted to non-negative values. So the probability density function uh, for the gamma distribution is this, where we have parameters alpha and beta. And here in the denominator, we have the gamma function which is an integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of alpha minus 1 times e to the power of minus x over dx. And the proof will be for the, the gamma function here, which we use in the PDF of the gamma distribution. So, as I said, this is what I saw in this proof. And it will be done by applying integration by parts to the gamma function. So let's use the integration by parts formula. Uh, we know that an integral from a to b of u times dv can be expressed as u times v over from a to b uh, minus the integral from a to b of v over du. So now we just need to decide what will be u and what will be v. So let's have this term here as u. So u equals x to the power of alpha minus 1. And let's have the term here as d, so d equals e to the power of minus x minus times dx. And now we need to figure out uh, v and du. So if u equals x to the power of alpha minus 1, then we just take the derivative and we have uh, du equals a minus 1 because this goes here times x to the power of alpha minus 2 times dx. And here we have dv equals e to the power of negative x. So we need to take the antiderivative and then we get that v equals negative e to the power of negative x. And now we can write our expression. So we can express the gamma function as the following. This is our u times v from 0 to infinity, where our u is x to the power of alpha minus 1, and our v is negative v e to the power of minus x, and this is from 0 to infinity. And here we have minus 0 to infinity v to u. Uh, where v is the uh, negative e to the power of minus x. So we put the minus minus here, that's why it becomes a plus, and this is our e to the power of minus x. And our du is this term here. So we have this is our du. So now we have to see if we can simplify this equation. Well, let's see. The term minus x to the power alpha minus 1 times e to the power of minus x, the limit of that as x goes to infinity equals 0, because we can see that e to the power minus x equals 1 over e to the power of x goes to 0 as x goes to infinity. And if x equals 0, well, we have minus 0 to some power times uh, 1, so that's 0. Therefore, here we have 0 minus 0, and we're left with the term here. And it's easy to see that this is just a gamma of alpha minus 1. 
first for reduced flow so to gamma of alpha equals alpha minus one times gamma of alpha minus one. 